we use the terminology, the term frequently ecosystem. And the value that you all have training at Stanford and being in the Silicon Valley in the Bay Area is enormous. I mean, it is an environment unlike any other environment um, I've ever seen and anybody's ever created. There's certainly an ecosystem in Boston. There's a little bit of one in San Diego. But in the United States, that's really, those are the hubs for innovation. And in Europe, they haven't been able to pull this together. China, we're doing a lot of work there. They're starting. India, not really. I mean, it's really unique. And what makes this unique is culture. So the fact that this course exists is a perfect example of the culture of entrepreneurship. Um, you have to have technical expertise in your area. One of the major takeaways for you is if you're thinking about going into a startup company, starting a company on your own, working with somebody, go work in your sweet spot. Work what you, in an area that you understand and you know. Eventually, you can branch out. But when you start, work in an area where you have expertise. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of capital. And um, that all comes together very nicely in this ecosystem. So I'm going to show you, I, I thought about changing this talk. I gave this talk, um, a similar talk down in Southern California that um, is trying to build an ecosystem like Silicon Valley. And um, they're not there, and they're having, there are key elements that are missing. And so I'm going to show you a slide on Northern California and a slide on Southern California. But imagine that you were in Kentucky or you were in um, New York City tries to do this. And it's just not the same. And you'll get it when I show you the examples. So um, talent and scale, the slide speaks for itself. What, what is it, why are the companies so important? Companies are important because they're training grounds. That's where you learn the basic elements of how to operate and how to put pieces together. And we get a lot of talent from the bigger companies that are formed here in Silicon Valley. If you look at Southern California, so when I put this together, I struggled to find a set of companies that would really have a talent pool that we could draw from. It's different, right? I mean, you have a biotech, you've got you know, a couple of them. You've got um, computer tech, and then you've got some service companies. Very different formula. If you look at um, research talent, I mean, the cluster of universities around the Bay Area is just remarkable. And this is what allows Boston to start with a, uh, a cluster of very, very good startup companies, MIT, Harvard, MGH, Broad Institute, very, very good um, set. And then in San Diego, but you have basically three institutions. <coughs> so it's not quite as, there's not as much depth. And then, <coughs> excuse me, Southern California actually has a set of very, very good institutions. But what we find, and we've done a number of startups, <coughs> excuse me, recently out of UC, UC Santa Barbara and Caltech, is that we find the technology and then we move it. We move the technology with maybe with a founder to the ecosystem up here or sometimes in San Diego. Because if you don't have the talent and the management pool and the banks and the lawyers and everybody else around you, it's very hard to start companies. <clears throat> so capital, you know, drive up and down Sand Hill Road. There's a ton of capital. It's not a problem. But the other part that's really important are um, organizations like the Stanford Biodesign Program. We back a lot of companies and ideas, and people are trained to know how to do how to start companies. Um, IDEO is a great kind of incubation center. I know you heard from um, uh, Mir about starting a device company. His incubator has just spit out multiple companies. Many places do not have that kind of infrastructure. And then serial entrepreneurs, people who can tell you what it's like and how to do it and mentor and guide you. Very, very important components. And in Southern California, again, there's all these questions. There's, there's one VC firm. There are a couple of small firms. Nobody really has put a foothold, a headquarters down there. 
There are some law firms in L.A., but they serve the entertainment business. It's a little bit different when you're supporting starting a film versus, you know, biotech or device company, although the risks are very similar. Um, But there are no incubators. And then the serial entrepreneurs have kind of done one company. You know, it's not multiple companies. So a very, very different set of um, opportunities. 